first thing is identify with what you love and once you love it hone in on that thing until you can master it to the point where people can identify that there's no questioning your love for it that's the first thing once you love it to the point where your actions speak louder than anything you could say about how much you love it that is always the root of whatever success is preordained or destined to come to you hey shalom <clears throat> all praises to you how about shim Yahweh Shai, Barashim Rekakodashe, much mercy to you sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you brothers that believe and that have been redeemed in this time, much mercy to you brothers out there. Uh, I just wanted to go into something, uh, this new covenant, uh, you know, I have to bring out certain things and when, when we bring out certain things and when we do lessons, this is how it is in the spirit. You know, there ain't no second guessing, ain't no questioning. Uh, you might not be able to understand what we're saying at the moment. And you might be able to add to it at the moment. Or you might not understand it at the moment. But you have to understand that this uh, this new covenant is manifold wisdom. So when I mean manifold, it is always unfolding. So going back to the revelations that the Lord gave the apostles and the demand of the Lord in the new covenant. He gave certain men certain visions and they all were different, but they all were all intertwine and correlate together uh, within the new covenant. This is what you have to understand. So I might say something that is it's not in the carnal lines of like carnally thinking about some shit. Uh, going into the the, the 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 understanding where the Lord have not he hasn't been glorified yet when he didn't go on the cross yet so he wasn't glorified yet so that's what he was telling you when he when when he would leave he would leave you the comforter and that's when really the campaign to the Gentiles really started when he actually went on the cross in the temple it ran in two uh, so many things uh, happened when he went on that cross and that's that's what made it official. So when the Lord was saying certain things, he was telling you, just like he would tell, he told Peter, John, and James that um, don't tell nobody about this until the son of man, basically he returned. And that was the uh, vision when he took Peter, John, and James on the mount. And the only one was left standing out of Moses and um, Elijah. The only one that was left standing there was uh, the Lord. So what we are understanding is this manifold wisdom. It is manifold uh, wisdom. That means there's many layers to certain truths. You know, certain things we might go into it is, 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 is different layers to it. Just for instance, this is look at this Gentile thing. One layer of it is the promise and the uh, everything went to the Gent. You know, the everything went to the Israelites. And so Paul was teaching to the Israelites. Then he went from teaching to the Israelites to teaching to the Jews. That's the first layer of it. Then he went from teaching to the Jews to teaching to the, the Gentiles. From teaching to the Gentiles to the actual Gentiles that were heathens. Like we read uh, yesterday in Galatians 3. Yes, the scriptures say that, that heathens can believe by their faith. And that's what is uh, this thing about uh, heathens coming into the fold. That's what this is about. It's about believing. This is no longer of nothing carnal. So like when you see guys, they have a 12 tribe chart. This new covenant is beyond the, the, the carnal. It is beyond the physical. We're giving you spiritual understanding because it ain't about the 12 tribe chart, even though that's who the chosen are, but it's beyond that. It's, it's through belief now. Matter of fact, hold on, let me read that one more time. And let me get on with this lesson. I just want to read this one more time. Galatians 3 and 8, it says, And the scripture foreseen that God would justify the heathen through faith. So this was foreseen through Abraham. And so when you go to uh, 
Zechariah 13 and 8, two parts of our people are going to be cut off, not just die. They're going to be totally cut off from the spirit. And you can actually see who's cut off from the spirit. You can. Because guys whole doctrine is death and destruction. Guys don't have no love. They don't have no faith. They have a camp curriculum. And certain of us brothers that are free, we're not holding to Moses. We're free from Moses. The Lord came to redeem us from the curse of the law. It's not just the curse, it's the whole law. The scripture tell you that uh, that the, 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 no man is justified by the law. It tells you that. That's one line that, that destroys that. And when you go to Romans... Um, when you go to Romans, it tells you that that old law, Paul's referred to it as a dead husband. So that old law is actually dead. So we're not teaching men to keep the old law. All the moral laws are in the new covenant. Everything that you need to do is in the new covenant. So guys holding to the carnal law, that means that spiritually they can't really connect to the new covenant. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm going to say this again, and it tells you in, in uh, Galatians 5, and it tells you in Romans, I think it was 4, that if you are holding to that, that covenant of the flesh, then you make the law of faith non-void non because you actually believe in that covenant. You can't have two masters. Anyway, Galatians 3 and 8, and the scripture foreseen that God have justified the heathen through faith. So this was already foreseen. It says, preached before the gospel into Abraham, saying, in thee shall all nations be saved. Shall all nations be saved. So certain heathens are justified through this faith. So I want to go into this manifold wisdom real quick. And in this time, what, what it's showing is who actually has the love and the mercy and the faith in them. You don't have love, mercy, and faith if your whole doctrine is the missiles and destruction and death and slavery. You don't have mercy in you. And it's really like, it's it's crazy. The Lord said, love your enemies. Certain men are eligible for mercy. Certain heathens are eligible for mercy. Guys, don't teach about mercy. And really, they don't have no faith because they don't have it in them. I was watching this one video and this guy, that their whole doctrine is the missiles and death and slavery. It ain't no mercy in these guys' doctrine. And the one thing a lot of people don't understand, if you're of God and you're in line with the spirit and you believe in the Lord, you're in favor of the Lord, you don't have to worry about missiles or Jacob's trouble. Now, you're in trouble. Jacob's trouble, guys are already in trouble because they're not in a new covenant repenting. So guys are in trouble. All right. Jake has always been in trouble. You're going to be in trouble until you repent to the new covenant. That's Jacob's trouble. That's Jacob's trouble. We, that's why we don't teach none of that fear shit over here, because we teach men to repent. Once you repent, then you line up with God. Now, if you can't repent, then you're not lining up with God. So you're scared of missiles, Jacob's trouble, the, the microchip, all this carnal shit you're scared of because you don't have no connection with the spirit. So Ephesians 3 and 10, it says to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of God, the manifold wisdom of God. So that's what we're giving you. We're giving you the manifold wisdom. We're not just giving you a carnal side like like certain brothers. Like I might say something, for instance, and another brother might bring out another part of it. You see what I'm saying? There's, there's no right or wrong answer unless it's not pertaining to the truth. But there's there's many manifold sides to this truth. And and truth is unfolding. Let's just say we might go into one topic. And you a brother might bring out one part of it. And another brother might be shown another part of it. And another brother might be shown another part of it. That is the manifold understanding of this. And so we all come together and we get a larger understanding. So not just Israelites are going to be saved that look like Israelites. You're going to have heathens that are Israelites that's going to be saved. And you're going to have actual heathens that are going to be saved all through their belief. This ain't about the bloodline at this point. It ain't about that. Because... Uh, now, this whole thing is based on if you're of God and if you have faith. 
that's who Paul was searching out, the ones that actually believe. And so that's what Paul's instructions after he went on the cross, they were ordered to uh, go out and teach all nations. Before that, they wasn't taught to go to certain places. Now, if the Lord went there himself, that's another thing. But the Lord, basically, until the Lord was glorified, he really, it the, the campaign to the teaching to the Gentiles really didn't start until Paul started going all out. The teaching of the new covenant was out, but Paul put that campaign out there and this was really being teached all over when Paul, when Paul came to the, uh, the understanding. And that's what the Lord meant. The, the son of man have not been glorified. Here it is right here. John 7 and 39. But spake he of the spirit, which they that believed on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Yahweh Shai not yet glorified. So at a certain point, the Lord wasn't, he wasn't glorified because he didn't go on the cross yet. He didn't fulfill it yet. That's why in John 20, he said that, um, receive my spirit after he came back. So certain things you got to understand that, uh, what's this? John 20. Certain things couldn't happen until he went on the cross. So this is part of why he said, don't go into the way of the, the Samaritans yet. Even though he went, but he told his disciples don't go yet. Certain things uh, was waiting till he became glorified. And yeah, they, it, it was if for other carnal reasons. Brothers might understand for other carnal reasons too. But certain things were waiting to the Lord. It was waiting for him to go on the cross and to this thing to really to take uh, take place. So that's why we say it's manifold understanding to this. So Yahweh Shai have not been, he wasn't, he wasn't glorified at that point when he was teaching. He got his glorification when he went on a cross. So that's why when he came back from the dead after the three days, he told them to receive my spirit. So certain things you gotta you gotta look at this thing spiritual. This is manifold wisdom. It's always there's always more to certain things. And there's not a right or wrong answer as long as it's pertaining to the truth of it. So the spirit is revealing uh, layers of things. Just like one apostle may have this vision, another apostle might have had that vision. This a prophet might have had that vision. This guy might have had this vision. And they might be talking about the same vision, but adding different things to it. And it all gives you a bigger understanding. And that's what we're doing um, in this time. Matter of fact, let's see, read this, John. Uh, what's that, John 20. John 20 and 20. Let's go right here real quick. And us, I'm only teaching the, the men that's actually spiritual, that actually have a spiritual understanding. So I might go certain places. I might go other places. This is only for spiritual mind. If, you, if you're carnal, then this ain't really for you. And if you're trying to come uh, another angle, it ain't going to work. Because by us continuing to teach the understanding of the new covenant, all you brothers, all you, well, all you guys out there that don't really understand, you, it, th you're going to continue to stick out that you don't actually understand. And we're going to continue to stick out that we do actually understand. That's what's sticking out. Who actually has the understanding of the new covenant and who actually doesn't. And this, this matters. Because if you don't have a certain understanding, you shouldn't be teaching it. So by your doctrine and what you're saying, we can understand that certain brothers don't really understand what they're teaching and certain guys can't be corrected. And then certain brothers are being corrected and they're receiving. 
but a lot of guys can be corrected. So long as we continue to teach, it shows the difference. So because we're up against a lot of opposition. Satan has hopped on a lot of guys in these last days and a lot of guys are in the wrong uh, spirit. So this is what you got to understand. This is a uh, John 20 and 20. And when he has said, he showed unto him his hands and his side. This is when the Lord came back. It says there were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. All right. So this is when the Lord came back. They saw the, 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 his hands and they seen the piercings. He was in the same body, but, but he was glorified at this point. It says, then said, Yahweh shy unto them, the anointed unto them again, peace be unto you as my father has sent me. Even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, receive ye the Holy ghost. So the Holy ghost at one point, it wasn't, out there yet until the Lord got glorified. So Paul really, it took off the teaching of the Gentiles and teaching to different late nations. They're, his disciples going out teaching to different nations really didn't take off until the Lord got glorified, until he said, hey, receive my spirit. So the Holy Ghost jumped on them after that point, after, he, after they came back that third day. It says, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. So the Holy Ghost was given when the Lord was actually glorified on the cross. So that's why the Lord was telling men certain things like he would even tell the, uh, Peter and them, I think it was in Matthew 17, like, don't tell nobody this until the Son of Man has been glorified. That's why he would tell the disciples certain things, even though he would do things himself because he's the Lord. But he, he told his disciples, just just wait until the Son of Man is glorified. Don't do this and don't do that. Uh, Matthew 17 and 9, let's go right to the point. And they came down from the mountain and Yahweh Shai charged them saying, tell the vision to no man and to the son of man be risen again from the dead. Woo. So these are certain instructions. And just like certain things that we're finding out and the Lord is revealing to us, this ain't for everybody because everybody don't believe. So like if you, let's just say if you cast some pearls to swine, then you could be uh, chastised for that. Because everybody don't believe. They don't have the capacity to believe in certain things. So it ain't for everybody to understand or know. Even understanding the Gentiles, it's not for everybody to understand because everybody don't believe. The only thing these camps is be believes is missiles and elders and the mark of the beast. That's the only thing they understand. And everybody's going into slavery. After that, beyond that point, you lose these guys, just like with a lot of people. They have no access to the spiritual realm or real spiritual understanding because they have no faith, no mercy, or no discernment. This is spiritual understanding for spiritual heavyweights. That's why we say heavy because a lot of guys are not heavy in the spirit. They're carnal. You can't even let go of Moses. Yahweh Shai's uh, priesthood is eternal. You see what I'm saying? And we do this because we love this, man. Like my man say, at a certain point, by how we do it, certain people know the love that we actually have for one another and that, that we have for this. Matthew uh, 17 and 9, again, it says, And this came down from the mountain, and Yahweh shall charge them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, to the Son of Man, be risen again from the dead. That's right. So when you go back to John 7, the same thing he was saying, too, certain things don't tell them until the Son of Man is glorified. And so that's why he would tell them, don't go into this and don't go into certain city, even if he would do certain things. But the real bulk of the ministry to the Gentiles came when um, when Paul came, even though the Lord was healing and doing things that he was doing. Everything came when the Lord went on the cross at, when, at, at a full force. And you had many disciples that was healing John uh, seven and thirty nine. But he spake of the spirit was that they believed on him should receive for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Yahweh Shai was not yet glorified. Now I want to go on this word glorified. So like I know, I know for a fact 
certain things that I say, guys ain't gonna get them at the at that at certain points. And certain things I get, I, I say, guys ain't gonna really agree with it. Or certain things I say, you might not understand it. But all I'm saying is, like I read, this is manifold wisdom. So this this is steady unfolding. This is steady unfolding. So you have to understand, we're not just giving you a carnal look of it. We're giving you the understanding of it through the mind of God. And if you have the mind of God, then you can understand where we're going with it. If you don't, then you, you it's going to be an issue with you. So that word glorified in John 7 39. So certain things couldn't happen until the Lord was glorified. And so that's when the new covenant, when the, Lord, the new covenant started, when the Lord was glorified. Strong's G, 1392, Doxadzo, Doxadzo. Right, so this is manifold wisdom. It says uh, that word glorified, to think, to pose, to think, uh, to praise, extol, magnify, celebrate. So Yahweh is supposed to be celebrated, not Moses. When he went on the cross, this was the glorification of the Lord. It says to be glorious, adorned. Um, with luster, clothed with splendor, impart to glory. It says, impart glory to something to render excellent, to make renowned, render illustrious, to cause the dignity, the worth of some people, or thing to become manifest, acknowledged. So, the new covenant was acknowledged when the Lord went on the cross. It was it manifested. It's supposed to be honored now. So the Lord got the glory when He came back. That's why He said, "Hey, receive my spirit." So certain things the the Lord told them to do. And when he was glorified, he said, hey, wait till the son of man is glorified. Then you could do this and do this. Then the real heavy ministry of the Gentiles started to be taught, even though the Lord sent the 70 out. So the Lord was being taught all through them times. But the bulk of the Gentiles uh, coming in and understanding this, this is where Paul came in. So you got to understand that it was certain times that the Lord uh, is, is, is certain things about this truth that makes it manifold. And we're here to give you a spiritual understanding. But with that, let me get out of here, man. Repent to the new covenant. Uh, study this thing because this is a spiritual thing. It is not carnal. Hey, with that, hey, Shalom. Isn't that Pluto? Isn't that Pluto?
That's an out Pluto. That's an out Pluto.